Hey, welcome to this week's Steam Culture. We're talking about bricks. Now, most of us are familiar with the brick because we live in homes that are made with bricks, or if you're like this guy and you play rec league basketball, you're throwing them up all the time. But it is interesting how much that steam has affected the brick industry over the years. Now, there's four main processes for bricks. You have to dig the clay, then you mold it into bricks, then you dry it, and then you fire it or cure it. So I wanted to go through each one of those processes and show you where steam's played a main role. We're starting with digging. Now, all that digging of clay, which is what bricks were mostly made of, clay or mud, was done by hand for years until the invention of the steam engine, hence the steam shovel, which greatly increased the amount of clay that they could get out of the ground and sped up the process. That takes us to the next step, which is molding. Now, these bricks were molded by hand, four to six at a time, which, as you can see, is a serious bottleneck to brick production. Well, in 1852, Richard Vervalen invented a machine that was steam powered that had a mechanical press that would press the clay into the molds and just send them on through. That also greatly uh, increased the rate of production of bricks. Now, after you have the brick in the mold, you have to dry it, which traditionally was done with just good old sun and air. But with the invention of the boiler and the boiler being on site, they would grab the exhaust and run it through a steam to air heat exchanger, grab that hot air, send it across the bricks. Now, we're trying to get these bricks to nine to 15% moisture. So there's still a little moisture in there, so they go into what's called a curing or a firing process to remove the rest of the moisture and heat the brick. Now, the large fire that's used to raise the bricks to 1800 degrees Fahrenheit came from wood or coal. No steam involved there. Here's where the steam comes into play. They slowly raise the temperature of these bricks, and as they get up the temperature, the water that's remaining in the brick boils, turns to steam, and evaporates and leaves the brick and gets vented out. If they do it too fast, the brick just explodes. So steam has been a huge part of the brick making industry for years. And just like other industries, with the invention of the steam engine and the industrial revolution, things changed rapidly. So hope you enjoyed our episode on bricks. So go out and look at the brick making industry and its history. It's pretty neat. While you're out there, go find us because we have content each and every week for you. I'm gonna get to work on something for you next week. See you.